I searched the web for the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns, and today we're gonna be reacting to them. I'm not gonna spoil too much, but let me just say that some of these are really funny. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe, and with that, let's begin. Now our first speedrunner of the day goes by somebody named L.E. Now L.E. is speedrunning on Java edition of Minecraft, basically meaning he's on a computer, and we're gonna find out really fast that this speedrun is hilariously faked. So the run begins actually pretty normally, and a normal Minecraft speedrunner might do the things that he's doing, as he's mining wood and even building some tools with his crafting table. Now, as he goes and tries to find a village or even another structure, things start to get a little bit weird already from here. Now, he finds a completely lit ruined portal. Yeah, I don't know if he's just extremely convenient in this spot, or he has impossible luck, but it's definitely a red flag that he finds this right off the bat, and to be completely honest, I'm not even sure if this is possible. Now, I guess we'll let it slide for now, because to be honest, he could have just gotten extremely lucky. Now, when he goes to the nether, yeah, it gets even stranger. He finds this extremely weird structure of a blaze spawner, I think. I'm honestly not sure what it is, and even our speedrunner seems to be confused as he types in the chat that, quote unquote, this is completely rare. Now, yeah, this is impossible to spawn in the nether, so I'm almost certain that he built this himself, and he probably just cut the video earlier or set this up using a set Minecraft seed, but either way, yeah, it's completely fake. Now, he goes and tries to fight in this, and he almost dies, but of course, he's just gonna cut the video, respawn himself there, and try to get the blaze rods himself. Now, he's already broken like 10 rules, so I don't even know what he's doing at this point, but you definitely can't argue with the fact that it's honestly hilarious with the way this speedrun has gone so far. Now I hate to leave out a lot of his video, but honestly he's just doing a bunch of random shenanigans throughout the rest of the time, spawning in a bunch of random stuff, and I guess he finally makes it to the end with a pretty reasonable and fast time, if you don't include the fact that he literally cheated throughout the entire thing. Now the end fight is pretty normal for a speedrun like this, he somehow got a netherite sword that was able to kill the dragon in one hit, so his speedrun was honestly super fast, and if this was real it would probably be a world record time but obviously we caught them in in 4k he cheated obviously so let's move on to the next speedrunner now while we can assume the first speedrun was hopefully sarcasm i'm honestly not sure about the second one now the second minecraft speedrun by techno is a little bit weird because as you can hear by his voice it sounds and appears to be a little kid we have all that let's go get some dirt because that's the first thing you do and we know with little kids sometimes they honestly just don't don't know what they're doing whatsoever. So with that in mind, our speedrunner friend spawns into their world, and we're gonna notice it's already weird off the bat. He spawns next to a chest, and this chest appears to have full netherite gear in it, including armor, swords, and tools. So yeah, unfortunately man, this is obviously not allowed in a speedrun, but I'm curious to see where he goes with it. Now he obviously is gonna put this stuff on, for extra protection I guess during a speedrun, and he sees a really weird sign. Now, it says, don't forget, the portal is under the block with the flower, so of course, when he breaks the flower, he goes right into the end portal in a random underground ditch he probably pre-dug before he started recording. Now, this is obviously fake because, of course, we all know, ender portals only spawn in strongholds, but I kind of want to see what he does even at the end of the speedrun. Now, once he goes into the end, he has a little bit of a weird end fight. Now, let's just say he gets some TNT and just completely blows up the dragon in creative mode. A kind of weird approach considering he has full netherite armor and probably could have just killed him with this sword. He just spawns TNT, lights it, and just absolutely obliterates the ender dragon. Now I guess it's a valid way of killing him, but not a valid way when you get the TNT from creative mode and you're flying around. So yeah, this would obviously be rejected if it would ever be submitted to speedrun.com and hopefully this kid was trolling. If not, I will be glad to teach you rules, man. Anyway, let's get on to the next speedrun. Now, before we move on to the next speedrun, I just want to take a really quick second to say, if you're enjoying this video even a little bit, please consider subscribing to my channel, and you can always change your mind and unsubscribe to me later. It's 100% free. Anyway, let's get on with the next speedrun. So our next speedrunner of the day goes by somebody named Genie, and unlike previous speedruns we've seen in this video, this is actually recorded on the mobile version of Minecraft, so I think that's pretty cool. 
So he starts off the run and just goes and get wood. So it seems pretty normal. And one thing I noticed right off the bat is the watermarks he has from recording or editing or whatever he's doing, which I think is pretty funny. And I'm going to be honest, a bit unprofessional. Now here he goes and actually finds a village. So it seems like this guy is off to a great start and there's no signs of cheating yet. It looks like he found the village legitimately and it's not like he does a set seed or anything like that. So now at this point he's trying to kill this zombie and I think he's probably just trying to loot this village get some beds get some bread maybe i'm honestly not 100 sure but it seems to be going well for the guy he has some pretty good loot he found a village and he's on track so let's see what he does next now it already starts to get weird and maybe i spoke too soon because he finds a netherite village like what even is this this looks straight out of a clickbait video and he even finds technoblade inside which spawns an item room which is completely full of netherite armor golden apples and from what it looks like even some heal potions <laughs> so this is pretty funny for including technoblade i'm almost sure that it's not the real technoblade but at least he has a guy with a valid skin now here he's just gonna try to go around and actually tries to fight Technoblade and it looks like he's losing the duel so he just gives up and runs to this end portal that he finds right outside the village. Which I don't know if he built this because from looking at his video it never appeared that he actually took time to go in creative and built this so my guess is he either spliced the video or somehow put this in before he started recording both things that wouldn't be legitimate. But yeah, it is a little bit weird to say the least. Now let's see what he does later on in the speedrun because it looks like he's already in the end. Now he goes into the end and I guess it's time for him to kill the ender dragon. And you can notice in the corner that he has a ton of health, probably from eating a ton of golden apples earlier in the run that he got from a chest. So yeah, it's pretty weird, but I guess he's just waiting for the ender dragon to perch, which it does take a long time to do so, but finally when it does, he just pulls out his bow, pulls out his netherite sword, and starts to attack it. Now one thing I find interesting is he could have used a ton of other ways to kill the ender dragon, considering that he had already cheated, but he chose kind of an unconventional way. Now here he goes, he's killing the ender dragon, and one thing you guys can see is there's a person flying around killing him also. So it looks like he has a friend helping out with this, trying to beat the speedrun with him or something. Now he's going to kill the ender dragon, and here it is pretty standard, he's just killing him with the sword, shooting him with the bow, all of that. And he actually does manage to kill him here, and I guess it's a pretty good kill, I mean he didn't take too much damage, so we can give him credit for that. And one thing that's weird is his friend says something along the line of, I beat it, or I beat you. Now, I don't know what is going on, but from what I can gather, they were having a race to see who could beat the Ender Dragon first. Like, what are they even doing? It's pretty funny, I can't lie. But with that, he ends off the speedrun. He jumps in, and that concludes the speedrun. Now, if this would ever be submitted, of course, it would probably be rejected by the speedrun moderators. But let's move on to the final speedrun of this video. Now our final speedrun of the day actually goes by somebody anonymous, so I don't really want to reveal their identity yet, however their speedrun is still extremely funny. It's completed on the Java edition of Minecraft, also known as being on a computer like I stated earlier in the video, and it is extremely fake. Now the run starts off actually pretty normally, with our speedrunner going to a village, and he even gets some beds and kills the iron golem. Now he searched for a lava pool, and once he gets into the nether, it gets fake because he just goes in creative mode and starts killing piglins instead of trading with them. Now, when he goes to find the nether fortress, he even goes into creative mode then, and actually just spawns in the blaze rods himself after he gets tired of killing the blazes. Now, I'm going to spoil it guys, this is actually my fake speedrun that I did in the video, and you should definitely watch it if you enjoyed this video. It's really funny. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and click if you want to watch it.